Hi guys, in the last video I covered inner joints. Now in this video I'm going to cover the other joints. And the next joint what we have is called the left joint. And what that means, uh, let me get my Excel table again. So uh, like I said in a previous video, um, the um, inner joint shows you only what's common between both tables. And if you are associated with a country not found in the products, then you will not appear in the join table and that's the thing here with uh, Jane you can see Jane doesn't appear here because there are no Greek pro there are no Greek products in the product table uh, with the left join you see all users and uh, why why is it called left well because the users in this case are on the left on the left side and hence the left join means that you see in this case you see all users you see all users and those products associated with those users, if, if, as, if any. So if I run that, you would see, I would have all users. That's, that's the case with left join. However, I am not going to have, I'm not going to have uh, anything associated with Jane because there's no Greek products and we can see that. Uh, let me go prime infos and I can take anything. Let's take the, the country column and you're going to see that Jane is going to have a null. And you see because there's no country associated with, uh, with, with, uh, with Greece in the, in, in the, in the prime infos uh, table. Uh, prime infos also got a, a field or a column called brand. And if I call that as well, prime uh, infos dot brand and run that again um, we're gonna have for those people for everybody like like you see here uh, Bob from France has got a lot of brands but if I filter uh, where I'd say uh, user data country is equal to uh, Greece then I'm going to have null for brands. And you see here, Jane from Greece has null country, null brands. And that's the effect of, of, of a left join. The left join, with a left join, you wish to have, you definitely wish to have all users, and, but you must take into account that for those users who, who are associated with a country not found in products, you're going to have null values. So that's the case if you wish to, to show from your left table anything uh, or everything, put it this way, if you wish to show everything from your left table, then you have to take into account that you're going to get some nulls uh, because if, if certain elements, if, if certain, if, if, you're not, if your uh, associated elements are not going to be found in the other table. And left in this case is always based on the equal sign. So that's the left join. Obviously, the right join is different. The right join will show you that everything from uh, from the table from the table products, yeah, everything will be shown from this table, and only those users uh, you know who have got a country associated with that. So let's try it out again. Let's take let me take that off. And let's take off the brands because there are too many of them. And let's go. And you see here, uh, and you see here now, what I have here are all the countries, all the countries in products, and everywhere where a country does not have a user, for instance, I've got no user from Andorra, so I've got a bunch of nulls. I've got no user from Argentina, so I've got a bunch of nulls. For, for as, as user data, you see? So that's basically the inverse of, um, of, the, of the left join. In this case, all countries are listed. However, uh, there where I've got no users associated with that country, I'm getting nulls. So it's basically exactly the opposite, diamet diametrically opposite to uh, the left join. Right, and now 
the last type of join that we got is the full outer join and the full outer join means everything and that goes like this and now you see I've got all users and all I've got everything from the user table and everything from my prime infos table and as you see here for instance Jane comes from Greece well it's got no in the in the prime infos uh, columns and for those uh, for those uh, countries or those uh, uh, rows in uh, prime infos who don't have a user associated with them they have no so with such a table you're going to get a lot of nulls either on the user side or on the on the on the prime infos uh, aka product side so those are the um, the, the, the different types of joins you have and it always depends on what you need uh, you know what are your needs to decide uh, which join to take because uh, the inner join only shows you what's common but like um, like if you if you need to um, to show all users then a left join is better so but if you need to show all products then in this case a right join is better and, and so on. So there is no right or wrong here. What is important to, to, to know is that the effects of those different joints, and then it's up to you to pick the right one for your, uh, for your scenario.